Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate creation of golden profiles, also referred to as reference profiles or golden batches. This analytics approach is not limited to batch processes, but useful anytime there is a recurring process operation and signal trajectory is key to process performance. This graphic illustrates nicely the four main steps in building a golden profile use case. Step one identifies all those recurring time periods that we want to focus on which might be overall batches, startups, product transitions, rate changes, or many other possibilities. Step two identifies a subset of those recurring time periods which represent best operation or good operation. In step three, we calculate statistical limits for some critical signal using only data from good operation. But then we apply those limits for every recurring time period of operation. In step four, we identify time periods when the critical signal is outside of the statistical limits. Let's move into a demo of this golden profile use case. First, we add our critical signal we want to monitor to the trend. In this case, a power signal in lane one with tramps upward during each batch operation cycle. We also add any signals needed to identify the target time periods. Here we add a mode signal in lane two, which indicates production when the batches are being produced. We now value search the mode signal to identify all production runs, finding when the mode signal matches production. Note that if we did not have a production status signal, we could use other available signals and simple or advanced run logic. We now have run capsules identified for statistical modeling and monitoring of our power signal. Let's expand our time range to 20 days for analysis. Using the production runs condition, we can take advantage of other views in Seek, such as chain view or capsule view. Let's now find the subset of all production runs which we consider our best runs when our process was operating well. I'll use capsule view and determine my best runs visually using process knowledge. The manual condition tool makes this best run selection very efficient. I simply click on the profiles on the trend which look normal and expected. Note that I can also select them from the capsules pane at the lower right by clicking on the plus signs. After executing, we see the best runs at the top of the trend in calendar view. While I chose the best runs based on visual patterns, we can also find them quantitatively. For example, I could add the average power statistic for each production run at the lower right in the capsules pane, sort by the average power, and choose my best runs as those above 10,700 kilowatts. As another example, I could use a formula to define my best runs as those lasting between 13.5 and 16 hours. With our best runs chosen, we now develop our statistical boundaries for the power signal. From capsule view, with only the best runs chosen, we launch the reference profile tool. To create our upper limit signal, we model the power signal using only data from the best runs included in our training window, choosing a grid of two minutes for our desired calculation granularity, and a plus three standard deviation for our upper limit, being careful to apply the resulting limit to all production runs for monitoring going forward in time. This produces our new upper limit signal based on the data from only the best runs. We now duplicate and edit the upper limit signal to generate the lower limit signal, only needing to change the signal name and the standard deviation multiplier to minus three. To illustrate what we've just done, we combine the signals onto one lane and zoom in. To see, we have taken all the best run values at each two minute grid of time slice, to calculate the average plus three standard deviations and the average minus three standard deviations. Selecting the data for all production runs during our time range, we can already know abnormal runs falling significantly outside the limits. Back in calendar view, 
we now want to create a condition for operation outside limits. Using value search and the limit signals created with our reference profile tool. We will ignore short deviations persisting less than 60 minutes. Using our newly created outside limits condition, we can monitor for abnormal operation capsules in a variety of ways. A few examples include monitoring the current run in near real time while comparing to previous runs in chain view with the best operation region shaded green using a scorecard metric. Listing metrics in a condition table for each outside limits event. Summarizing event count and duration in a simple table. In summary, we have used these steps to build statistically based profile limits for best operation and detecting abnormalities in near real time. Email alerts can be initiated using the outside limits condition. The number of outside limits excursions and their durations can be analyzed over time to detect performance improvement or degradation. The skeleton profile use case can be applied to batch, continuous, and any types of recurring operations. Thank you for watching.